Meet Arnold. It's noon already, and he's sleeping like a baby. Arnold, you could sleep through your whole life. Get up already. People sleep for one third of their lives. During sleep, the body is restoring. Some species of birds, marine mammals, and reptiles can stay awake for up to 10 days. One half of their brain is asleep while the other one is working. I think someone's breaking into your house, Arnold. Wake up! Arnold, who are these guys? They don't seem anything like your friends. Congratulations, Arnie. Somehow you've gotten yourself into what looks like pretty big trouble. Again. What the jumping Jiminy is this place? Looks like a college dormitory at not the best university. Wow, Arnold. Looks like you could be a superstar in a new reality series. How on earth did they get a file on all of you guys? Whoopsie daisy, I guess they got you here by mistake. What do they want from all of you? Uh-oh, I don't like this at all. Arnold, haven't you been able to sleep? A day without sleep leads to headaches. Your hearing becomes noisy and difficult. And your memory becomes impaired. Believe that on average, a person can endure no more than five days without sleep. That's when the real oh. test begins. Oh. Optical and oh. begin to You're the only one left, Arnie old pal. I'm reminded of one legend about Soviet scientists. They put five people in a room for 15 days with a stimulant gas that kept them all awake. Arnold, you're free! I can imagine you probably want to go home and have a good night's sleep. But it seems that you need 30 more days without sleep to get to the nearest town. Well, good luck, Arnold. You're going for a nice little weekend at the spa. You'll take baths full of original Coca-Cola, created according to John Pemberton's recipe from way back in 1886. This pharmacy mixture made of coca extract absorbs quite well in the blood and can create euphoria in particular doses. And in certain doses, it can kill you. When bathing in this drink, your skin will absorb a large amount of benzomethylagonine. Arnold's feeling quite happy and cheerful. At present, the quantity of this ingredient in your blood doesn't exceed 50 milligrams. A dose of 500 milligrams is already toxic, and 1.2 grams will be lethal. Although the euphoria lasts for 30 minutes, you, Arnie, will again and again want to get this feeling back. No, seriously, dude, that's enough for you. Without a new dose of this spa treatment, Arnold will become aggressive and irritable. This substance reduces the amount of dopamine in the brain, and without it, Arnold feels unhappy. Now, all of his energy is devoted to finding more Coca-Cola. Arnie, I like you better the way you were before. Once in the blood, the coca extract raises your body temperature, narrows your blood vessels, and raises your blood pressure. Whoa. Half a year of such daily cola baths, Arnie, and you'll be burning up from within. Well, you lived a sweet but really short life. This is something to ponder, isn't it? Hey, Lunkhead, I hope you're not looking for Mentos. So, according to the terms of the challenge, you're supposed to replace water with cola. And why are you looking so smug? Watch out, Arnie! Incoming! One can of cola contains 10 teaspoons of sugar. That's your total recommended daily allowance, all at once. With so much sugar at one time, the body should respond with vomiting. But orthophosphoric acid absorbs most of the taste and everything stays safely inside. Your brain is easy to trick, but it's more difficult to fool your body. The liver, in order to circumvent this atrocity, turns all the sugar into fat. Arnold's lifespan is reduced by two and a half years for every 10 kilograms he's overweight. So at 100 kilos overweight, you'll lose 25 years off your life. On the other hand, after a couple of years of side effects from diabetes, hypertension, and high cholesterol, you'll have a pretty good chance of dying young and beautiful. Sugar also leaches calcium from bones and teeth, and the effect is enhanced by orthophosphoric acid. Now your bones can be broken from even the slightest impact. The cherry on top will be cancer of the lungs or liver, caused by preservatives that turn ordinary carbonated water into the nectar of the gods, which goes so well with a big juicy burger and fries. And by the way, choose a seat near the toilet. The caffeine in cola has a diuretic effect.
What do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball! Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile! Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But, to be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. Your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart suffer the most. Yeah, looks like cola's not an option. So, what do you say? Let's try Pepsi next time! You look like crap. But it was worth it. You cheered up a lot of people. Wait, are you in a coma? Looking at you, you'd think you're dead. But you're still alive inside. In a coma, you're unable to respond to external stimuli. Because of this, you'll be the best K-pop fan. And you'll be able to listen to the same song on repeat for years. People can be in a coma from a few days to a dozen years. Edward Obara fell into a coma at the age of 16 and spent 42 years this way. According to patients, during a coma, they feel like some kind of matter. They wandered along long and damp corridors, mazes, went through complex oh. mechanisms. The degree of a coma is determined by the Glasgow Coma Scale, where 15 points is clear consciousness and 3 points is brain death. Arnold, they're gonna turn off the machine! Wake up, uh -huh. and I promise no more experiments on you. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Come on, Arnie, you can do it! I never thought I'd say this, but you really had me worried. How are you feeling? Are you speaking Klingon? You became one of those who, after a coma, forgot their native language and began to speak in a completely foreign language. But the fact that you started eating dirt after a coma is something new. Last night, did you finally become a real man? Congratulations, Arnold. This is your first alcohol intoxication. And these are the first unpleasant consequences of a new acquaintance. Arnold, how about a toast to your new friend. Ah, well, I see, of course. If you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Arnold, did you really want to make a lifelong reminder of this event? At least you'll have something to tell your friends about later. As you can see, the consequences of alcohol intoxication don't just damage your health. They damage your bank account, too. Oh, you were unmatched in generosity last night, Arnold. You were the king of the party. Hmm. Now, where's your tooth? Anything ring a bell? Nothing? No? Arnold, you didn't know this, but drinking too much leads to unnecessary aggression. And you certainly paid a price for that. Ooh, you found a solution. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you Spielberg calling an ambulance? Jump.
Ah, you decided to recharge your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Ah! Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. One of them, acetic acid, has a particularly nasty smell. Hey Arnold, you sure you still want to sleep after eating? Sadly, you can forget about sleep. Cerebellar functions are impaired after alcohol intake. As soon as you close your eyes, the cerebellum ceases to have enough data for orientation in space and starts transmitting broken data to the cerebral cortex. Say hello to bed spins. Poor Arnold. It's a pity just to look at you. Let me give you one piece of advice. Right now, a cup of hot tea will save you. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket and fall asleep so soundly that no prince can possibly wake you up with his kiss. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. Eight? 100 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes. You're depressed and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. My advice, you need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight? O-M-G! Arnold! What in tarnation did you make? Roasted piglet? Chocolate caramel cake? That's not what I meant! It's not just about not eating fast food, buddy. It's about any kind of high-calorie food, and you're overeating. Get ready, Arnold. A new experiment awaits you. A bathtub full of boiling hot water. Stop watching Netflix and stop texting Susie. She's not going to answer you anyway. Come on. No way. Are you finally going to meet her? Ha <laughs> ha. What a maroon. You're seriously depressed, buddy. The World Health Organization estimates that depression affects 300 million people worldwide. That's about 4% of the global population. Depression occurs due to a deficit of neurotransmitters in the brain, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Without these natural chemicals, favorite activities stop being pleasurable and colors turn gray. And all of this can end very tragically. So just don't do something stupid, Arnie. Arnold, you have millions of fans on YouTube. Why do you need all this? Come to me, buddy. I'll give you a big hug. Depression isn't just a change in mood. It's a real illness. To treat it, you most definitely need to consult a doctor, preferably a psychiatrist. Antidepressants can help you, but be careful. Some are addictive. Start going to the gym. Believe it or not, exercise is one of the best ways to reduce symptoms of depression. And change your diet. Eat more dark chocolate, seafood, nuts, and fruits. Meet with your friends. You can get a pet and take it for walks in the park. Now that everything's stabilized in your nervous system and your hormones of happiness have returned to normal levels, the world sparkles with new colors. And now that you're in better physical shape, you've recovered well by soothing your grief with ice cream. I'm sure we can use this for today's topic. Let's see how much weight you can gain. Put simply, 
To gain extra pounds, you must constantly increase the number of calories you eat. With your weight and lazy lifestyle, it will be enough for you to eat six Snicker bars a day to start gaining excess weight. When you reach 300 kilograms, the Snickers allotment should be 14 bars a day. And when you reach 2,000 kilograms, you'll have to eat, 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 and eat again until you eat 17,000 calories of food a day. No one has ever reached such a mass. 2,000 kilograms would simply destroy your body. Fat would compress your organs and veins. You would begin to suffocate. Your strongest bones, which are four times stronger than concrete, would break if you tried to stand on your feet. At this way, you can live for just a few seconds until the fat completely strangles you. So let's suck out a little bit. It seems you're going to need to borrow a bra from your mom. The more fat in a person's body, the more intensively female hormones are produced. Your breasts grow enlarged, your voice becomes thin, and your little friend no longer rises in the morning to salute the new day. Hmm, that's a twist. Looks like Lolita97 has a very jealous husband. Don't go leaning out and trying to lose weight. There's enough fat in your body to sit in a closet without food for three years. You just need to inject some vitamins and drink water. Ah, never mind. Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're going to have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids! First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. Using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just too much. So, you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous, because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack. But the worst thing is that even giving up testosterone completely won't get rid of the consequences. You'll become fat and mentally unstable. Yes, Arnold, in the end, the situation is even worse than when you started. The brain works much better when it receives a lot of nutrients. This can be achieved through more rapid circulation of the blood. A shot of adrenaline will increase your heart rate to 220 beats per minute. And a 40th cup of coffee will provide all 350. Let's see if we've nourished your brain enough. <laughs> well... But what if we make your heart contract at a speed of 300,000 times per second? Blood will run through your veins 20 times faster than the speed of sound. Obviously, all your veins and blood vessels will burst instantly, and your heart won't even be able to contract a second time. So, we'll do an upgrade. We'll replace your heart with a motor and we'll make your blood more viscous. Now, this is a whole different story. In this form, you are a Superman. All processes of the body are accelerated thousands of times. It will be the most productive time of your life. With such a brain, you could create a company more successful than Google or refine Einstein's theory of gravity, advancing humanity hundreds of years ahead. But because of your accelerated metabolism, you'll have to spend all your time on the toilet. But 
don't worry, it won't last for long. Your body can only withstand a maximum of two hours of such stress and strain. And then, bam! Arnold! What? You broke the record? How? You glued your eyelids! Oh my god, it's really dangerous! Blinking is necessary to lubricate your eyes with moisture. Our lacrimal glands contain antibodies, lysozymes, and electrolytes. Without them, your eyes will become defenseless. So, I'm afraid you won't be able to admire your literacy for long. The smallest particles in the air will begin to settle on the eyes and scratch them. In addition, the longer you don't blink, the more you want to. Bright light hurts you. Your vision gets worse. These are signs of conjunctivitis. It needs to be treated properly. It sure won't go away by itself. Be careful when reading the drug instructions, Arnold. With Vision of Plus 5, it's very difficult to read up close. But with myopia at negative 5, you'll have problems with viewing objects in the distance. Ladies, stop it! He didn't see anything! Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! Looks like you got beat up by the pharmacy security and you lost all your belongings. I wouldn't stay in such unsanitary conditions for long. Don't have the strength to go. Eerie similarity to the symptoms of adenoviral conjunctivitis. This happens when the retina is torn and the virus penetrates through it. Arnold, get up! You'll develop abscesses. Yes, Arnie, it's all yours, but on one condition. You have to eat everything. To make the experiment work, choose the right products. Mmm, chocolate cake and meat. After eating such a large quantity of food, you'll start to feel a little sleepy. Sweet dreams, Arnie. The truth is, most likely, you'll wake up in the middle of the night with a terrible stomach ache. Your stomach lining is stretching and expanding. Good morning, Arnold. We made breakfast for you. The more you eat, the harder it is for you to move. And as a result, you don't burn as many calories. It's a pity there aren't any wheels on your chair, right, Arnie? After a couple of months, you'll become big and important. Your granny would be proud of you. What? Does your heart hurt? Are you feeling short of breath? That's totally okay. High blood pressure and heart disease are perfectly normal with obesity. Don't be sad. You can become a superstar sumo wrestler. Sports are gonna save you. Meet the Cake Punisher and Elevator Annihilator. Yusako Fatoaso. Are you ready? Fight! Arnold! 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 Why are you shaking like that? Is this rage? I think I understand. Your huge stomach has started to press on your lungs and you can't breathe. No, don't die. What about that last little piece of donut? Where'd you go, Arnold? You want to travel to the center of the earth again? Three, two, one, stop. <laughs> Arnold, did you pee your pants? It takes 0.4 seconds for the heart to contract and the same to rest. If you add up all the pauses in an average person's life, it turns out that the heart is resting for more than 20 years. Therefore, no one will notice a little pause for just a single nanosecond. But I already figured out how to fix it. Look closely. The heart resembles a two-story house. There are two rooms at the top called the right and left atria and below the ventricles. In its normal mode, the blood from the atrium is pushed into the ventricle with such pressure that the blood could hypothetically shoot out for more than 9 meters or almost 30 feet. Then the ventricle pushes blood into the lungs or the aorta and life goes on as usual. But if the ventricle stops for at least 0.7 seconds when all the other parts of the heart are still working, then boom! The amount of blood going through doubles and it's torn to shreds. Not this time, Arnold. We need you, Arnold. Everybody loves you, right people? I'm kidding. Nobody cares. It seems that he's about to be robbed by a homeless bum. Or rather, he could be robbed if this lazy lunkhead at least had some money. Thank God. I was scared he was going to steal my camera. Let's see what's wrong with him. If he would have brushed his teeth even once, he would have definitely noticed he has an ulcer that hasn't healed for several weeks. This is a very alarming signal, and I know what to look for. Cancer. 
Even the frailest body creates millions of cells every day. But sometimes a bug occurs, a mutant is born, a cell that's different from the others. But it tries to hide this fact as much as it possibly can. If you have a healthy body, your immune system will easily detect this wayward cell. But if your body is engaged in constantly trying to treat itself, then it has no energy left to fight the cancer. Do you want one for yourself, Arnold? Easy. If your parents had cancer, then there's a 10% chance you'll get it too. No? A mutation can also be caused by radiation. For example, visiting the Chernobyl nuclear power plant without protection. Or living for a thousand days on the International Space Station. You could also smoke six cigarettes a day or eat two kilograms of smoked meat for ten years. You won't even have time to blink as this cell will turn into a huge cancerous tumor. Look, the food inside of him can't even get to the stomach. Mutated cells make their way into the bloodstream and then spread throughout the body, into the liver, the lungs, and the brain. It's time to apply poison. Chemotherapy doesn't cure cancer. It kills it. But healthy cells also have to die along with the cancer. Arnold, get out of there! Hello, Arnold. Today you're going to fish on the banks of Sentinel Island. But don't you dare set foot on land. Arnold! Congratulations. You're now in the clutches of the wildest and most hostile tribe in the world. And they don't like guests very much. I'm afraid they're going to eat you. From your skin, they can make eight drums. From your veins, five bows. And from your empty skull, a big mug. And your scalp is going to decorate the chief's body. Arnold, where are you going? Wow, I didn't think aliens really existed. These guys are going to do something really useful with your body. Your body consists of 70% water, 24% organic matter, and 6% inorganic substances. In a cucumber, there's also a lot of water, about 85 to 90%. So technically, you're a very emotional cucumber. From the remaining 6% of inorganic elements, many useful things can be created. In your body, there's enough iron to make a nail 6 centimeters long. Your body also contains enough copper to make a pair of headphones. And all of this while you still remain alive. You can even remove most of your internal organs and still go on living. The human body seems fragile, but you can live even without your stomach, spleen, 75% of your liver, 80% of your intestines, one kidney, one lung, and almost every organ located in your pelvis and your inguinal cavity. Of course, you'll hardly be like a cucumber, but it won't kill you. And you will have those free headphones of somewhat dubious quality. But these are all useless things. In fact, the composition of your body includes carbon, hydrogen, sodium, and oxygen. All these chemical elements are also part of dynamite. The hidden explosive power of the human body is equal to 175 grams of TNT. In fact, the strength of the explosion will be in direct proportion to how much you like salty foods during your life. Hey, Arnie, now you'll be eating only raw meat like a carnivore. Can you feel how quickly your levels of adrenaline and aggression are rising? Of course, it'll be a little difficult for you to chew, as human teeth aren't adapted to eating raw meat. Better cut it into small pieces, like the ancient Mongols did. In fact, the most famous dish made of raw meat, steak tartare, is named after them. Without cereals, vegetables, and fruits, the flow of glucose, which is fuel for your body, will stop. Your liver will start to process its fat stores to meet your body's energy needs, and you'll start to lose weight, up to 5 kilograms a week. Your muscles will start to dehydrate and dry out. That's why a meat diet is so popular among Hollywood celebrities and supermodels. Cholesterol levels in your blood will go up, and, well, let's face it, you'll be at increased risk of heart disease. Amino acids will fill your intestines, and they'll mix with bacteria from your skin, and that will lead to a super grungy body odor. Raw meat does contain some dangerous microorganisms, such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. And they can cause you to suffer from diarrhea, vomiting, and just general old heaviness in your stomach. But when your body finally adapts to such food, you'll feel a surge in energy and physical strength. The reason for this is increased testosterone and vitamin D levels. Even Bruce Lee himself, when preparing for fights, liked to have a tall glass of yummy fresh meat smoothie.
Our ancient ancestors used to eat raw meat, but their lives changed forever when they figured out how to use fire and began cooking. Arnold, what's wrong with you? Does your tummy ache? This is the perfect chance to test my quantum resizer and find out from the inside what's hurting you. Put this helmet on and I'll connect your consciousness to your nano copy and insert you into your own body. But first take off your underpants. It's the fastest way to get you to your destination. Here we go! You ate a burrito which contained the eggs of some very smart tapeworms. Arnold, just look at this. They built a whole metropolis inside of you. They even built a zoo. Let's check out the zoo. Today's Monday, so there's a 50% discount. My God, this is a zoo of pathogenic viruses and bacteria. I admire your interlopers. Spanish flu, plague, Ebola, tuberculosis, swine and bird flu, and a bunch of other rare pathogens all in one place. Look, there's even my favorite, the little studied baronavirus, also known as sad horse disease. It mainly affects horses, cows, rabbits, and other animals. Arnold, I wouldn't put my fingers in the cage if I were you. It's suspected that the infection causes schizophrenia. Arnold, unfortunately, your stomach hurts due to parasites. Look, they're building a highway in your intestines, a water park in your bladder. If they build a data center in your head, you'll most likely kick the bucket because your head is so small. You need to figure out how to expel them from your body. The sooner, the better. If you open all the cells of this Pandora Zoo, most likely it'll help you expel the worms. Come on, Arnold, go ahead. It's better to cough from a couple of days of Ebola than live with these worms inside of you. Congratulations, Arnold, on the heroic exile of the parasites. I hope your immune system can cope with such a menagerie of diseases. This will be a good lesson for you. And to remember that the five-second rule is a bunch of hooey.